More questions tonight about the 45-minute warning in the Iraq dossier. The Tories ask why Tony Blair didn't know it only referred to battlefield weapons when his defense secretary did. More fallout over Hutton, a scathing attack on the BBC by its former boss, Lord Burt. From top to bottom, a series of grievous errors was made. Also in this hour, lessons to be learned. School inspectors deliver their verdict as the number of failing schools rises. And more and more rain will have the latest on the threat of floods with 80 warnings now in place. Very good evening to you. The Defence Secretary, Jeff Hoon, has told the Commons he knew the 45-minute claim in the government's Iraq dossier referred only to battlefield weapons, not longer-range missiles. Earlier, Tony Blair said he hadn't been told about the distinction. Mr Hoon's comments came as he closed... Some stories in brief now. Two men in their 40s have been charged with manslaughter following the death last July of a two-year-old boy in Leicester. Declan Elliott was crushed by concrete slabs left on a strip of grass near a building site close to his home. The charges come after an eight-month inquiry into the incident by police and the health and safety executive. Three primary school pupils in Portsmouth have contracted TB after their teacher was found to have the disease. The children, who are 11 years old, all go to Portsdown Primary School. None of them are thought to be contagious, and they're now being treated with antibiotics. More and more cancer patients are successfully beating the disease, according to new figures released by Cancer Research UK. New treatments and better screening have led to a 12% drop in cancer deaths over the past 30 years. The doctors say more needs to be done to tackle the rise in the number of people actually developing cancer in the first place. The number of schools judged to be failing by inspectors has gone up for the first time since Labour came to power. 282 schools were told... Was, uh, we're uh, reporting there uh, with the floods and we will of course have a weather forecast for you uh, coming up a little bit later on. Let's bring you the headlines now. The Tories ask why Tony Blair didn't know the 45 minute warning in the Iraq dossier referred to battlefield weapons when his defence secretary did. Lord Burt, the former Director General of the BBC, launches a scathing attack on the corporation's handling of the Andrew Gilligan report. And school inspectors say the number of schools failing has risen. And in sport, while it is still goalless between Fulham and Everton in their FA Cup fourth round replay, there have been two goals at White Hart Lane, both to Spurs. Robbie Keane adding here to Ledley King's opener against Manchester City. It's still 2-0 to Tottenham. England fans expected it to happen, but it still hurts. Johnny Wilkinson has been ruled out of their opening Six Nations match against Italy. And the whirlwind blows at Wembley. Jimmy White beats Stephen Hendry at the British Masters snooker. The Sporting Full at 8.45. Mike, thanks very much. The debate on the Hutton report in the Commons has sparked off a new route tonight over why Tony Blair appeared to know less about the details of a controversial dossier on Iraq than his Defence Secretary. Very good evening. This is BBC News 24. In a few moments' time, we'll be talking about the Ofsted report, which shows that an increased number of schools are judged to be failing. We'll be talking to the former Chief Inspector of Schools, Chris Woodhead. He'll be with us here in the studio. Now let's catch up with the latest news with Liz. John, thanks. The row over weapons of mass destruction continues tonight, as the government is accused of failing to clarify the meaning of the...